The first case was from a female of 58 with the solid bladder lesion, and this was amyloid. The amyloid is the pink acellular amorphous material that we are zooming into in the lamina propria. So, very briefly, when amyloid occurs in the bladder, it presents as an ulcerated nodular or polypoid mass that may clinically be mistaken for cancer. The deposits are in the lamina propria and muscularis propria, and the diagnosis is confirmed with stains such as Congo or Sirius Red. And remember, these stains, as the name suggests, stain amyloid red, but when polarised, the amyloid turns to an apple green colour. The second case from the female of 62 with a solid lesion in the bladder thought to be a TCC was in fact an inflammatory myofibroblastic tumour or IMT. One of the important things to note is that the urothelium is normal. The tumour is composed of spinal shaped cells lying in a myxoid stroma and at the bottom left you can see an inflammatory component. The stain that really clinches the diagnosis of inflammatory myofibroblastic tumour is the ALK1. The third case was a female of 62 who had a partial cystectomy for adenocarcinoma and this was a uracal adenocarcinoma. The urothelium is normal and the tumour is not arising from the urothelium. It is an enteric type of adenocarcinoma, i.e. it is the type of adenocarcinoma that arises from the large bowel and this has arisen deep in the bladder wall from a remnant of the urachus. The fourth case was from a female of 33. The age of the patient gives a clue as to the possible diagnosis and this lady had an abnormal blood of mucosa due to endometriosis. You can see that the bladder contains a deposit of endometriosis composed of endometrial glands lying in endometrial stroma. Clinically, the bladder is the commonest site in the urinary tract for endometriosis to occur. The symptoms are dysuria, frequency and hematuria. The average age is around 35. The fifth case was from a female of 66 who presented with postmenopausal bleeding and on examination there was a lesion thought to be a bladder tumour and this was endocervicosis. As the name suggests, endocervicosis is composed of glands lined by endocervical type epithelium and here you can see flattened epithelium lining cysts and also some columnar epithelial cells in the glands and these are present in the muscularis propria or deep muscle.